Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem A from the latest Code Forces Global Round 11 problem name avoiding zeros. So you are given an array of n integers a1 till an and you have to create an array of n integers b1 till bn such that b is a rearrangement of a which means that b is a permutation of a. Okay, now there is also one more condition in which for all the k from 1 till n, the sum of the first k element of b is non-zero. What does this mean? That if you form a permutation of a, which is actually b, the sum of the first k elements is non-zero. You have to make the array b such that it holds this property, which means that if you do the summation of b1, b2, b, b2 bn, then the summation of this, like that number should be not equal to zero. If you can form an array b which follow both of these properties then you have to output yes and the array b itself all like or you have to print out no that this is not possible you cannot form an array b such that uh, the summation of first k elements is equal to zero or like non-zero so you have to output that so now as you can see in this equation because all the numbers are zero only then now if you do a summation of first like first element the first two elements then there will be a case in which uh, like there is the summation equal to 0 so the answer for this is no you cannot build a array like that but in this as you can see I have made this array in which the summation of first element is 1 first two element is minus like minus 1 then for these elements is equal to as you can see 2 and so on so now the, el the sum of the elements is not equal to 0 now the basic intuition which come to my mind when I first saw this question is why not like sort this array if I sort this array now then all the positive elements will be like here then like or all the negative elements will, will be here like like minus 5 minus 2 minus or like minus 1 and then all the positive number will be there like there will be some zeros only also and then will, there will be some positive numbers as you can see like 2 3 7 and so on now you can also check that initially you can do the summation of all the n numbers okay because if the summation of all the n numbers is equal to zero then what like whatever permutation you do the last the summation of all the elements because you have to do a summation of one till k elements now and so when you go from k equal to n then the summation will be zero and then that case will go out of like that case will not hold the condition of this uh, this property so then in that case the answer is no so for other cases you can somehow make the array okay so as you can see for the summation of all the summation of all the elements if it becomes equal to zero then the answer is no else you can make that array now how you can do that i'll show you with this example this example is good uh, okay so like you can understand from this example also so but as you can see if i sort the array then this example will make it very difficult as you can see this is one minus one then one minus one only one minus one and one now if i sort this out in decreasing order as you can see it will become like this minus one minus one 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 now if you go from left to right do a summation it will become minus one minus two minus two till now so it is good then it will become one or say minus one and it will become zero and this will get like this will not hold true. so now what does this mean like i should not sort this out no I like sorting is good like but if I sort this in I have sorted this in decreasing order as you can oh sorry increasing order from negative to positive if I sort this like this 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 then it is fine as you can see it is 1 2 3 then it is like uh, minus or oh sorry 2 then 1 and everything is above 0 so like, like not equal to 0 so it's fine so as you can see you can do and check for both of the cases you can first sort this in like in the ascending order and the descending order both and now what you can also do is see uh, i move from left to right and also keep track of the sum till now as you can see in this if i sort this out it will become like this minus one minus one 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 okay and now what can i easily do here is i move from left to right and i can keep track of the sum till now so sum till now is minus one sum till now then become minus two then it will become as you can see minus one then it will become zero so whenever it becomes zero what my goal is i have to somehow change this number because at this point this number is causing the sum to be zero 
okay if i somehow change this number with some other number then the sum at this point will not be zero so at which number should i swap this number with i am moving from left to right these numbers are fixed i cannot swap this but like the last number i can swap this so whatever the last number is of this array swap this number with the last number but as you can see in this case the last number and this number are same so even if i swap this out then also this will not cause any like this will not be beneficial to us but if the last number is 2 then it is beneficial as you can see if i swap this out then it will become like it will become 2 and 1 then it will be like minus 2 minus like minus like minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 then it will be when you add 2 to it it will become 1 and then it will become uh, like it will become 2 so it is good so the thing here is what you can easily do now get, i hope you get my point you can sort this out in decreasing order and increasing order for a decreasing order what you can do you can move from left to right and check that keep a track of the current sum till now if it becomes zero at any point swap that number which is causing the point to be zero with the last number okay and and thus this number will not get like hampered or become zero okay else after making the final array after swapping out you again recheck it like again recheck it like whether it has zero again after doing this again if it do not have any zero till any point this is the answer if it is not showing that answer you can do this in if this is increasing order do this, do this in decreasing order and do the same thing and then you get the answer i hope you get now point how i am solving this question so i'll take down to the code part now so as you can see in the code part this is the solve function take the input of n and the array itself and then what you can do you can insert all the numbers and do the summation okay and you can also sort them out then what you can do or like if in if you do not sort this out sort this out then it is also fine or like you, you should like sort this out first which is in decreasing order if the total is equal to zero then the answer is already no as the total is not equal to zero then you, you just print out yes and then what you will do you will keep a track of sum till now so you move from left to right as you can see and keep on adding ai to the sum if at any time sum become equal to zero what you will do you will swap this first element like the ith element with the last element and then again recheck it so you again do the summation from zero like make the sum equal to zero and again do this for this whole array which is decreasing and then if you check out that the sum at any point do not become zero if it becomes zero then make my ok equal to zero which means that i am checking and still after doing this swap the array becomes at some point equal to zero so this method is not right you, sh you should not like sort it in decreasing order but some increasing order and so on so you will do this if after doing this swap the array become fine then just print it out okay else you just do the you like you do the same thing but just sort the array in an, like other order first it is increasing then now it is decreasing and now do the same thing again find out the sum and if at any point sum equal like become equal to zero swap it out with the last element and then print out the sum or like the whole array I hope you get the point. Uh, this comes to me very intuitive because uh, like we have to sort it out. And after sorting out in like increasing order, it gets some flaws. So I sort it in decreasing order and then try to modify my code according to the logic given. So I hope you get my point and the explanation also. If you still have not mentioned down, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Keep coding. Bye.